Okay, this is my interview number three. Um, I'm gonna interview my son. His name is Christian Suson. Um, ready? Sure. Okay, here we go. Uh, can you give us your name? I already mentioned your name, but just mention, give it again. Yeah, my name is Christian Suson. Okay, uh, how old are you, Christian? 38. Uh, what's your birthday? January 29. What year? 1984. Okay, where were you born? Seattle, Washington. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be asking you to give us your life story, okay? Uh, along the way, I'm gonna be asking some questions to follow up or elaborate a little bit more, okay? So, um, can you tell us about your childhood? Yes, I had a good childhood. Great. Uh, <laughs> I know you were born in Seattle. Do you remember uh, where you were? Where you went to school at elementary and? I I was born in Swedish Hospital. Okay. In downtown Seattle. Mm -hmm. And I went to elementary school at Highland Park. Okay. I don't remember the name of my preschool. Um, or my kindergarten, but Highland Park. Highland Park Elementary. Yeah. Highland Park Elementary School. <laughs> Elementary um, School. How many years did you go to school there? Two, and then I we transferred to Riverton Heights. Okay. And uh, how many years did you go to Riverton Heights? For four years. Four years. And you know Riverton Heights uh, shut down, right? They closed? They closed that school and turned it into a park. Okay. So after uh, Riverton Heights, then I went to middle school in Chinook Middle School on 188th in Seattle. Okay, and then for high school, senior high school, that was uh, Tai Tai High School. Tai High School. Anything interesting in high school? It was a good time. Yeah. Well, I remember that you, you the prom you became a king for that night, right? Yes, I was prom king. Okay, and you also, at your graduation, you also uh, gave the graduation speech. Remember that? I gave the graduation speech at my graduation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, after high school, uh, what did you do? I joined the Marine Corps. Okay, what made you join the Marine Corps? Uh, my cousin did it. Who's, which cousin? Steven. Okay, Steven Carlos, right? Yep. So he he asked you to join? Yep. No, well, yeah. He he asked me. I said no. Okay. And then I was like, huh, well, looks fun. So I joined. Okay. And uh, where did you have your uh, your uh, training, your boot camp? I went to boot camp in San Diego. Okay. And how did that go? Perfectly fine. Okay. How long was the boot camp? 13 weeks. Okay. You want to tell us about it or... You want to give some details? I'm about sure the there's bootcamp. a YouTube video of what Marine Corps boot camp looks like in 2002. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, I mean, your experience basically, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Uh, it's it's uh, it's all pretty simple stuff. Okay. You, yeah. So after boot camp, what did you do? Uh, after boot camp, I was in Pensacola, Florida, for my A school. Mm -hmm. To learn how to be an air traffic controller. Okay. And then I went to my first duty station in North Carolina, Jacksonville. Okay. Uh, Coastal Carolina, the base was Marine Corps Air Station, New River. And then I did my first deployment to um, Fallujah. And then I returned. Okay, let's talk about that. Uh, since you're a veteran of foreign war, because you went to Afghanistan during... Uh, Iraq. Uh, I mean Iraq. So, how was that? Can you uh, give us a, uh, tell us a little bit more about Fallujah and you know and your first deployment? Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, it's war. It's what it is. Um, <laughs> what were you doing? What was your job? Air traffic control. Okay, so you were guiding the planes that the. Uh, Fallujah is a helicopter base, but okay. that's that's very loose. It was a forward operating base, and we had a road that we blocked off on both ends, and we called it a runway. Oh, okay. And we landed helicopters on them. Okay. And then uh, halfway through the deployment, they put down uh, some pads for helicopters to land on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were there when they were they put on the pads? Yeah, I was there when Hillary Clinton flew in. Okay. And that was kind of wild. Yeah. 
Okay, was Hillary Clinton the first lady or she was a senator? Do you uh, remember? No, she was... She had a different role before. Oh, okay. What was, what was her role before that? In the middle, before she became senator? After first lady? After first lady... Uh... This is 2003, so... Four. 2004. Well, to 2005, she was a. That was weird because uh, during that time, uh, the president was Bush, during the war. Yeah, she was. Gosh, I don't. Did remember. you meet her? Maybe she was a senator already. No, no, she just they landed, they got into black SUVs and drove away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Any any interesting things that happened there while you were there? No. No. So everything was just run smoothly then? I mean, I wouldn't call it smooth. It's still war. Okay. Okay. And then, um, so I, you were de deployed three times, right? Yeah. This man. So how long were you there the first time, like in Fallujah? Uh, they, all three deployments were nine months. Nine months deployment. So were you in the same place when you came back or you went to a different place? No, the first deployment was Fallujah and the second two deployments were Al-Assad. Where's Al Assad at? They're, all three bases are in the Al Anbar province, Western okay. Iraq. And you have the same job over there? Yep, air traffic control. Okay. And uh, anything interesting happened while you were there? No. No? Okay. So when did you get out of the Marines? <laughs> Do you uh, remember? What, when did I get out? Yeah. January 2008. January 2008? Mm hmm. So that's when you out there, and what did you do after that? Uh, nothing. I played on the internet and did nothing for like six months. Okay, so basically... Uh, I, like, I take it back, it was like a year and a half. A year and a half? Of doing nothing. Whoa. <laughs> did you go back to school? I Yeah, kind of. I went to ITT Tech for a semester. And for, you didn't like that? No, the school went back up and closed or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, what did you decide to do after that? After a year and a half of basically doing nothing? Uh, after a year and a half of doing nothing, I joined the ministry for English and Christo in like March of 2010. Oh, okay. So you went to school, right? The Bible back. school? Yeah, I went to uh, yeah, school for evangelical ministry. In in Manila? In, in Quezon City. City. Okay, so yeah. how, long, how long was that? Four years. I was there for four years. And you, did you ever become a minister or? I did not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and after that, you decided to come back to Seattle? Uh, no, I had Oh, not. I forgot to ask you. Weren't you, weren't you uh, in San Diego? Weren't you, uh, when you were still in the military, weren't you uh, assigned in San Diego? The base there? Mm-hmm. Okay. So when was that? When was you? The San Diego thing. After my first deployment, after Fallujah, when I got back, then I got transferred to, to San Diego. Okay, Miramar. what base? Miramar. Miramar? Yeah. Okay. Where the movie Top Gun is filmed. Okay. Then, then you, you went back to Iraq. Iraq, twice, two more times. And then when you came back from the second time you went back to Iraq, where did you stay? In Miramar again or a different place? In Miramar. Miramar? Okay, the same place. Okay, so you went to the Philippines, went to Bible school, and you didn't become a minister. You came back to Seattle, and then what did you do then? I opened an insurance agency. Okay, Allstate. Allstate. Okay, and that's how it is right now, right? Correct. Okay, and are you married? Yes. Uh, what's your wife's name? Princess. Okay. Um, no kids yet, but hopefully <laughs> soon. Okay. Um, anything you want to add on? You you have actually you, you you can you know you you got a story to tell if you want you know, but it's up to you if you want to add anything else, or did I miss anything? That's that's about it. So that's basically a, a nutshell of your life. Yep, that is my life in a nutshell. Okay. Okay, Christian. Well, thank you very much. And the reason I'm thank you. yeah, I'm doing this so I could uh, 
record something of you, you know, that I have, you know, that's in video. And maybe later on, I'm going to video you again, probably, hopefully, if I'm still alive, 10 years from now. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye.